All right, we're going to look at the elevator problems today. So, in order to solve an elevator problem, let's just go through a scenario. So, let's say you walk on to an elevator, and you have a mass of 50 kilograms. And once you get on that elevator, you stand on a scale. What's the scale going to read? So, in that case, the elevator is not moving and not accelerating. So, the acceleration is zero. The force is acting on you. There's gravity, which is your mass times your acceleration of gravity on the planet Earth. And there's a normal force. This normal force, this is where, when we do elevator problems, this is what the scale reads. This is also known as your apparent weight. Okay. So, how do we solve for normal force? Well, we follow our pattern. We set up a free by diagram. We're going to sum up the forces in the y direction. Is it going to equal ma or zero? Well, the acceleration is zero, so m times zero is zero. I now get to sum up those forces in my y direction. So I have normal force pointing up minus mg pointing down because mg is in the negative direction. I have a minus sign there when I add it up. So my normal force is equal to mg, which is 50 times 9.8. And so my normal force is 490 newtons. So my scale reads 490 newtons. Let's say all of a sudden this elevator starts to accelerate, starts to move on you. So, what happens? The scale reads something different. Now, you weigh a little bit more. Now, instead of weighing 490 newtons, the scale's reading a higher apparent weight. What's your acceleration going to be? All right. So, what do we do? We think about this a little bit. So, at first, I know I weigh 490 newtons. Well, this person weighs 490 newtons. But the upward force is 510. Which way is this elevator accelerating? which force is bigger, tells me the direction. So this is the direction of my acceleration. So now I'm going to sum up the forces in the y direction again, but this time it is accelerating. So I say ma. I have 510 minus my weight, which is 490, equals mass, which we defined was 50 kilograms. And so I just have to solve for the acceleration, so I'm going to divide that mass over the other side. So divide by 50. So I end up with an acceleration of 0.2 meters per second squared, and it's positive, meaning it is up. Now, let's try another situation. Let's say that elevator starts accelerating again, and now the scale reads something different. So I still have my weight of 490 newtons pointing down, but now the scale is reading only 400 newtons, so I have a smaller apparent weight. Okay? And this apparent weight can go all the way down to zero, in which case you're apparently weightless, which means you're actually in free fall. Um, if your apparent weight becomes negative, that means the scale is somehow pulling you downward on top of just free fall. But in this case, the larger force points in the direction of the acceleration, so my acceleration will be down. So when I sum up the forces in the y direction, I have ma again, where my mass is 50 kilograms again. But now I have 400 minus 490 equals ma, but I'm going to divide the m over, so I divide by 50. And so my acceleration comes out to be negative 1.8 meters per second squared. The negative is telling me the acceleration is down. Now one trick that happens when we do elevator problems is, remember, forces tell us about a change in motion. They tell me about acceleration. They don't tell me about the actual motion. So in this case, even though the acceleration is positive, if we know nothing else about this problem, we don't really know, is the elevator going up and going faster, or is the elevator actually going down and coming to a stop? Okay? Whenever acceleration and velocity are in opposite directions, Slowing down, same direction, speeding up. So remember, forces tell us about a change in direction. Normal force in an elevator is telling me about my apparent weight, what the scale reads. Now we could flip this problem around a little bit. I could give you an acceleration, ask you to find the apparent weight. I could give you some other set of variables and ask you to find some things. So.